B.S. in physics, third year. The paper I handle is the material science, in which one of the topic that I am going to take the class, that is about the growth mechanism of growth mechanism of in field. So this is the topic that I am going to handle and I am going to keep now. The first thing is, this is about the growth of a thin plane. What is thin plane? For any device that we make use of in day to day life, the material that was in, inside the device is mostly of the semiconductor. And one of the important materials that was there in the material in the device is silicon. Now, if I want to grow the silicon for the use purpose, then I have to make the silicon in the form of a thin layer. How do I grow the thin layer of a silicon? For that, what I have to need is a basement or a fundamental or a foundation. That foundation we call as the substrate. The substrate has their own fundamental property, like the substrate should maintain their thermal stability high. The substrate should have more flexible in such a way that the grown material can be easily attached on the surface. It means it should have the more absorption property. And also during the growth of the thin layer of any advanced material, say the layer of silicon, then the surface of the substrate that you choose and should be very clean. So after all this doing, I have to start growing the material that I want. For example, if I take the silicon that I want to grow, then what I have to take is I have to take the silicon in the form of a wrapper. Silicon in the form of a wrapper. And that wrapper should be produced from the other heating source because all the silicon should be in the form of a solid material and that I have to evaporate. And then that wrapper I have to choose and that paper I have to deposit on the surface of the substrate. So this I say as it is called as the substrate above which I am going to deposit any material, for example I say silicon, organium, or germanium, whatever, I want to deposit on this substrate. Now the first step that was involved in the deposition process is the absorption of the vapor on the surface of the substrate. And that only we call the absorption. So what is absorption? Absorption is the mechanism where the incoming atom in the form of a vapor is towards the surface of the substrate here and atom say of any material is just receding or it is just coming to the surface of the substrate and on the surface of the substrate this atom say the silicon or something is going to absorb by the substrate. So during the process what happens? There are two possibilities. Either the atom which is coming from the upper side on reaching the surface of the substrate, either it will absorb by the substrate or it has to be ejected or reflected by the substrate. Now what happens? On reaching the surface, this atom is get absorbed on the surface. One we call as the absorption and other we call as the absorption. Now what happened here, the absorption is going to happen where the atom is going to sit on the surface. The next process, the next process that we are going to see is nothing but the process is dependent on the Now what is the process that is going to depend on the absorption rate? Now for that what we have to understand the silicon vapor or any vapor that is coming, it depends upon the number of atoms that is in the surface. Though the rate of deposition on the surface depends upon the number of atoms that is reaching the surface, that we call as the flux. So the absorption rate depends upon the flux. It means the amount of atom that is in the form of a vapor which is reaching the surface of the substrate, that is one of the important parameters that is going to see the absorb on the surface. Another is the another factor that depends on the absorption property is that the tendency of the substrate as I told you the atom which is coming to the surface of the substrate has to be trapped by the substrate. 
if the trapping tendency is less if the absorption tendency of separate is less then what happen all the silicon vapor that is coming to the surface it get reflected back it is not absorbed by the substrate and also another parameter that we call as the the coupling factor i would call as the sticking that is the atom which is reaching on the surface of the substrate has to be attached on it it means the atom which is having the bond the outer bond of the atom the outer lay bond of the atom and the surface of the substrate both should have form a some strong bond such that it will form a contact with the surface of the substrate so this is one of the important parameters in order to deposit a thin film on the substrate the another parameter that is important for the growth of a sub thin film is the surface diffusion the another important parameter that involves for the growth of a thin film is nothing but a surface di <coughs> surface diffusion so surface diffusion means what as in the earlier what i told whatever the atom that is coming it should be absorbed on the surface of the surface now in the next process what happen these atom which are coming from the outer ray outer related to the surface of the substrate have to be diffused on the surface so what happen more or three atoms going to diffuse on the surface so how it happen again the same phenomena what happen the atom which is coming have to be attracted by the surface and the atom which are coming continuously it have to be attached by each one so that it start diffusing on the surface of the substrate so once it start diffusing on the substrate of the substrate it is start going to having a bond between the uh, substrate and the atom now what happen whichever the atom which is absorbed on the surface is now attached to the surface of the substrate once it attached to the surface of the substrate then these atoms are available for the next process of growth and those atoms which are not attached on the surface of the substrate that have to be excluded from the growth pot or it have to be evaporated or going out to the growth pot by means of other mechanism so this is the next step that involves for the growth of a uh, uh, thin film the another step that is nothing but the what i already told is nothing but the formation formation of formation of bonds formation of bonds between whom and whom the formation of bonds between incoming incoming atom and the surface atom of substrate surface atom of what it is substrate so surface atom of the substrate now what happened here the actual process of growth is happening where the atom which is diffused on the surface start bonding between the atom of the substrate as well as the atom of the material that i want to grow in the form of a thin film now what happened if the growth is started the formation of uh, a small diffusion bonding is taking place then what happen this atom is attached to the substrate and it will never ripple back now this process is start continuing till it forms a full surface it forms a layer of full surface now what happen all this atom which is coming and bonding it will attach now the other atom which are coming it will try to bond between the same type of atom so at the interface for this interface there is a lot of disturbance because the bonding happening is actually between the two different types or between the two different atmosphere for example if i take this substrate is in the form of a say sapphire or you can say the germanium what happen the atom silicon and germanium are different atomic number different property now what happen there should be a some atomic or ionic rate difference between these two atom so 
during the formation of bonding between the outermost orbital electron, there is going to be some type of defects that is going to be generated between the interface of the incoming layer of or the small layer of thin film that form and the substrate. Now, if the substrate and the incoming atoms are same, then what happens? The defect that is going to form at the interface is going to be very minimal. If that is the case, what happens? The layer of atom that is repulsing over this is going to form a clear cut crystal or clear cut thin film. So, what happens? Once the formation of thin layer of atoms are happened, then the atom that is coming from the incoming outer region, it is stored bonding again over and over and the process continue and it is going to form a thin layer. Now why we call this as a thin film? Because the thickness of this layer is of the order of around micrometer. So if we grow this thickness of layer, then this layer of thickness of the material is actually acting as a base material for any device fabrication. This is the simple three step mechanism that I explain to you in order to understand how a layer of thin clip is deposited on the given substrate. So, what are the topic I concluded in this class? One is about the growth mechanism involved in the formation of a thin clip. So, what is a thin clip? A thin clip is nothing but a layer of atom, layer of material that we want to grow that used for any device application. So what are the steps involved? The first and the foremost step involved is the absorption on the surface of the substrate where the atom will just come out from the source material and it will absorb on the surface. The second step that involves is nothing but the formation of substrate diffusion. It means the atom which are coming is just on the surface is stored diffusing on the surface of the substrate. It will not diffuse totally inside, just it will diffuse as a silo diffusion, we can call it silo diffusion. Now what happens? Once this process is happened, then what happens? The formation of bonding is started. The formation of bonding is what happened? There is an interaction, there is a formation of bonding between the substrate atom and the incoming atom. If that happens, then what happens? It is start growing layer. And in between, between the process of formation of bond and the next step of formation of layer of thin film, there is another mechanism involved that we call the nucleation. That